Welcome to tech class today. We're going to learn how to add narration and other sound from your voice into your movie today. So I'm going to open up my movie project for stop motion and I did not have any clay at home. So I just used paper to show a change of shape like I'd given you as an option if you didn't have clay either. So you'll see that over the course of this movie, something changes shape over time. I'll play my movie real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's my movie, The Apple Muncher, it's called. You probably saw a few mistakes in there, but that's all right. It's going to be good enough for now for me to use as this demonstration for your tech class. When you think you're ready to add a narrator speaking about what's happening in your movie, the first thing you're going to want to do is practice. So get your movie at the beginning into frame one, and then you're going to hit play for your movie and practice saying what you want to say. I found that when I practice, I realize that the movie goes by so much faster than I even remembered, and I really don't have very much time to say things. So I need to really practice and make sure I have an, at least enough time to say the few words I want to say to describe what's happening. For instance, here I go for a little practice. One day, the, oh, I, see? <laughs> I started saying one day and setting up the scene and the apple muncher was already eating the apple. So that little practice helped me realize that I don't have time at the beginning of my movie to even say one day. So you're going to practice and practice kind of like that by hitting the play button and having your movie play and practice saying what you want to say over and over again. If you would like, you can make a little script for you to read next to your screen um, if that's a helpful tool for you, but you don't have to. When you're ready, you can hit the microphone button. So the microphone button is in the little menu of white symbols right above your movie clips. And it's, it's right between the arrow and the plus sign. So there's a little microphone over there. And you're going to hit the red record when you're ready for the app to actually record you speaking. So I haven't practiced very many times, but I'm going to give it a try just so you can hear and see what it looks like to record narration for your movie. Once I hit the red record button, it'll count down from three to let me know when it's truly recording. And then when I'm done recording, I'll hit the stop button that will appear. Here we go. The apple muncher took a big bite of apple. Yum, yum, I want another bite. And the apple muncher just kept eating and eating and the apple got smaller and smaller until there was only a core left. I want that too, the apple muncher said, and that last bite. But what do I do with the stem? I'll make it an earring. Yay! So you can see that I had to speak pretty fast, but still clearly, to get my whole story in. And then I hit the stop button when I was done. And now I'm going to hit the done button in this corner of my little black pop-up screen. And that will save my talking to my movie. You can see that there's now a little music note symbol attached to my first frame in my movie. And I can hear what it sounds like and see what it looks like by hitting the play button now. The apple muncher took a big bite of apple. Yum, yum. I want another bite. And the apple muncher just kept eating and eating. And the apple got smaller and smaller until there was only a core left. I want that too, the apple muncher said, and that last bite. But what do I do with the stem? I'll make it an earring. The apple muncher. So you can see it cut off my last word. My last word was yay, and it cut that off. But I could either do it again. If I want to do it again, I would just click on this frame and click onto audio, 
and then I can delete what I did before if I want to really start from scratch, or I could also um, shorten it if it's too long. If it's too short, like mine is, it, and it missed the last word or so, you will have to just re-record it, um, unfortunately. But if it was too long, like at the end, you messed up and you said, oh, I'm hungry for a snack, and you didn't really want that to be part of your movie, you can also trim by moving this little line and hitting this, the scissor or the trim buttons. So those are some little ways you can play around with that. The volume is right there. It should be already set to the highest volume, but if for some reason it seems too loud, you could always set it lower, or if it's too soft, you can double check that it's truly at the highest volume for 100. And um, the other ones you don't really need to mess around with, and you probably should not um, change your voice to one of these crazy sounding ones because then it will be hard for us to understand you. Like, let's see what this one does. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, don't change your voice to one of these other Whoops, these other voices. Um, you can play around just for fun to hear what you would sound like in one of these other voice effects, but please have your final version of your movie say none for no other funny effects because it will be much easier to understand you and be able to appreciate your awesome movie that you've put so much work into if you don't have a weird voice effect that makes it hard to understand. So when you're done on this, this audio screen, you can hit done, and then you will have your amazing stop motion movie and your narration. The other finishing touch that we are going to put on our movies is to add a title page right at the beginning. And of course, if you wanted to make your title page a stop motion effect like we did for the animal movies, you can you can actually film the title page and film little letters moving around to make up your title and who has made the movie. But there's also a feature in the app to make a title page. So if you hit the plus sign, there's a, a choice for title and credits. And you can click that and it will give you so many different styles. Either titles at the bottom that go right over your first image but that probably will be a little distracting and you might not have time for someone to read them before your movie starts. Or you can pick from one of their other um, effects in their title pages. So for instance, I could pick this top left one and if I click that, it brings me to a screen where I get to change what it says. And you see along the right, it has different little boxes you can click to edit different parts of the title page. For instance, this top box edits the part that currently says back to school. So if I click that, it'll let, or double click it, it'll let me erase what it says so far and give it a new title, Apple Cruncher. I say done and you can see that it saved my new title. If I want to change what it says at the top, instead of saying a stop motion studio film, I need to click the little box on the side that has those words and that will let me double tap into there. And I could change that to a Perkins at home feature. And then I can change the words the movie to anything I want. For instance, this might be a good place to say who made the movie. Produced and written by Zoe. Done. And then when I'm all done making the title what I want it to be, I click the little back arrow in the top left corner. And you can see that now I have a first clip of my movie is the title. And it should play for a few seconds to let people read it. So you can kind of test it out. Apple Cruncher, produced and written by Zoe. And the Apple Cruncher took a <laughs> Oh goodness, what did I forget to do for my audio? <laughs> I forgot to change it off of the alien uh, style. So let me click this. <laughs> click audio. Wait a second. It says there's no 
<laughs> it says none. Let's see. Let's say none play. The apple muncher there we go. Let's see if it saves it then. The apple muncher oh, phew. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to turn something off and turn it back on to get it to work. Um, so there's how you add a title page and the audio that we added um, a couple minutes ago for narration. And then you have a finished amazing movie. To save it, of course, remember to hit the little back arrow next to the microphone symbol, and that will save it into your home screen. And to retitle it on this home screen, you just tap the title and it gives you a place to title it. I had already done that though. Um, and then if you would like to share your movie or save it to your iPad, you click the button that says select, you click on the movie you want to share, and then there's a little tiny image in the blue section of my screen that has a box with an up arrow going out of the box. So you're going to click on that and you're going to click export movie. That means send it out of this app. And you can see that there's one of these that says save video and that will just save it right onto your tablet, your iPad or your phone, whatever you, you've, you've used to record it. That way I can just go into my photos later and I can see that my movie has saved its final version right there. So I can watch it whenever I want. The Apple Cruncher. The Apple Muncher took a big I mean, <laughs> wait, Muncher or Cruncher, whatever it is. Cruncher, Muncher. I, I mistitled it, but you get the, the idea, right? So send me any of the videos that you guys finished because I would love to see them. Good luck.